Baylor from ScoobyDooByDoo.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a jQuery plugin. So um, I've already just created one. To, um, uh, this is actually my very first day to learn jQuery, so I don't know a lot of the terms regarding making a plugin. Um, I just know what it, how to make a plugin, and so let's go ahead and do this. So uh, this plugin that I created for myself is for search boxes. Um, because you'll know if you go to a website and they have a search box, a lot of times it has a default text in it that um, if you click on it or when you focus in on it, it wipes the text clean or just erases the value. Um, but when you click outside of it, it returns the default text. And if you add uh, some random text and you click outside of it, you'll notice that it stays there. So that is pretty much a basic plugin that we'll be creating for this video. So I'm going to go ahead and show you. I have this search box directory in uh, my sites folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to need jQuery. So I'll go ahead and copy my jQuery.js and paste it inside of here and open this entire folder up inside TextMate. So the first thing I'm going to do is create um, index.html and uh, make this an HTML 4.01 strict file and uh, give it its title and add my search box so input type equals text and the class of this is going to be um, a search and if you have a label for this then you'd give it its ID here um, I'm not going to do that though so the reason I'm using JavaScript or not giving this a value starting off with is because the whole point of this for me is I don't want the if the user doesn't have JavaScript enabled I don't want um, I don't, if the user doesn't have JavaScript enabled um, I don't want the search box to have a default value because I don't want um, them to have to manually select all the text inside of it. Um, that's my reason. If you you might want to do that, so you can give it a value. Um, but I'm not doing it because if it does, if they if JavaScript's not enabled, I don't want them to have to manually select all the text. That's the main purpose. That's the whole purpose of having this plugin, um, in my opinion, for myself. Um, but you can do it if you want to. So the next thing I'm going to do is create j a plug my plugin file. So to do that, jQuery want, um, recommends writing jQuery dot js or jquery dot whatever your file name is or your plugin's name so in my case I'm going to have search text dot js and uh, we'll go ahead and empty or make this an empty file so it's blank and here we can go ahead and write our plugin so I'm going to go ahead and include that onto my page and start writing it so when you write a jquery plugin the syntax used is jquery dot fn dot your plugin's name so this is recommended to also be the main title right here that you see, search text. So that's my plugin's name. So search text. Um, and that will be equal to a function. So that's how, that's it. And then we'll go ahead and clean, uh, close that. So the first thing I want to do here is make it where somebody can change the default text that goes into it. So by default, if you don't supply a custom parameter, the text will be search the site. Um, but if we, but the user probably, you, the user will probably, or the, yeah, the user of this plugin will probably want to change that. So we'll add a parameter inside our function called options, and that will make it where when they call this job, this jQuery function, so or plugin, this is how they'll do it, or change it. Um, so we'll start off with our um, jQuery. So we started on the page. Okay, and uh, to call this, the reason I that's the reason I'm using the class on my search box is so I can call search, and this will be equal to um, search text, which is our plugin's name. So if somebody wanted to change the default value that goes into this, they would add curly brackets, and they could say text is equal to um, my custom text. Okay. So I'm not going to keep that there, but I will have it where I can go revert that or switch that to it so you can see the way it works. So the first thing I want to do is set up a variable called defaults. 
and this will be equal to, we'll add a, um, so our curly brackets and close them. And here we're going to say text, and that will be equal to um, search the site. And then to make it where if somebody supplies a custom um, text query, then they write will have uh, variable options is going to be equal to jQuery dot extend our defaults with the options that the user can change themselves. And to make, let's go ahead and just go ahead and make it where the search box by default will have a value because right now you can see that jQuery is not adding it. We'll write return this dot each and then functions and uh, we'll say this dot value will be equal to options dot text. Okay? And when I go ahead and reload this page, I did something wrong. So, um, I, add, I said functions, I'm sorry. That's not supposed to be there. So now when I reload the page, you can see that jQuery has automatically added a value to our search box. So that's what this little function does that jQuery has automatically. So now what we'll do, it'll, I'll go ahead and show you that I can change that by supplying a custom parameter here. So now you can see it says my custom text. So if you were using this on your own website, you could simply download this and choose a custom parameter that you could use or want to use on your search boxes. So the next thing that we'll do is make it so if the value is equal to whatever it's supposed to be by default, then make it blank. So we'll say um, if the s value, actually I need to go ahead and set up my variable, I'm sorry. So, no, I, I'm, I'm jumping so far ahead of myself, it's really bad actually. So what I'll do is um, this dot focus. So once you focus on this text box, we'll call a function. And here we'll set up a variable called s value. So for search value is going to be equal to this this dot val. And if you leave this function blank, then it will return the value inside the search box. Okay. So now we'll say if s value is equal to options dot text the default, then um, make this dot value equal to blank. Okay, so if I reload this page and I click on it, you can see that we've now erased the text from the text box because it is taken. Uh, this variable is equal to search the site, and if this value is equal to whatever the default is, then it will make it blank. Okay, so that's what this focused part does. Um, but if I go ahead and change that, let's go ahead and copy this again. I'm not doing a very good job here. Um, if I paste it back out, except change this to blur, and I make our options.txt equal to blank, and then change the value equal to options.txt, then it will make it where it replaces it. Now, I went really fast right there, and I can see even... I can, it will probably confuse you. So what we did with the blur is when you click outside of this text box, then it will get the value of the text box. And if that value of the text box is blank or doesn't have a value, then it will give set the value equal to its default value that is, in this case, search the site. So if I reload this page, I click, it's empty. I click outside of it, it replaces the text, and now that whole part is done. Um, what you could do, though, is when I was telling you um, this is like writing jQuery. Well, what I meant by that is you could take all of this and put it inside of here, okay, except change this to um, dot .search and change this to whatever you wanted the default to be and by writing like uh, search the site and I think you you think you understand you'd have to change this all that this is to dot search and it would be more difficult or actually it wouldn't really be that much more difficult you would change this to dot search and you would just do that all the way through 
and what, that would just that would do the exact same thing. But I think this is much easier um, because you have one line. It says search text, and the text is equal to my custom text. I reload the page, and I click, and I click outside, and it replaces it, and that's all it requires, and you're done. So thanks for watching this video, and goodbye.